Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about three major mistakes that good speakers of English might make if they move to live or work in an English speaking country. Maybe you're thinking of moving abroad to work or you're planning to move with your family to an English speaking country. In any case, this video is for you. My name is Beck and I'm an English teacher at Britcent. Let's get started. If you have reached a level of English where you can live and work in an English speaking country, congratulations. That's a great achievement. I hope you will enjoy your new life in a different country, but there are some mistakes that even good speakers of English can make. So let's look at what to watch out for. Number 1. Believing that you don't need to study anymore. Some English language learners believe that they will get enough practice by living or working in a different country, so they stop studying. This might be a big mistake. Probably you will discover that you felt very confident in your English language class, but having to live and work in a foreign language is a lot more challenging. Our advice to you is never stop studying. You will learn about different functions and when to use which structures in various situations. This might be the difference between jogging and running through your new life in an English speaking country. If you continue to study, you may find that your confidence is high and that you're able to work better. Plus, you can ask your teacher if you hear something that you don't understand. Number two, using too many idioms and too much slang. Some English language learners think that the way to sound more native is to use as many idioms as possible. This is very unnatural in English and may sound like a cliche. Likewise, be careful with slang terms. It might be better to understand them rather than use them without thinking. What you say can give an impression on who you are as a person. So if you use a lot of slang or swear words in particular, you may be giving a very bad impression of yourself to others. We don't speak in real life like the actors do in action movies. It's much better to expand your knowledge of phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions and also take note of the expressions that other people use. Number three, playing it safe. The third major mistake I'd like to talk about is playing it safe. You might think that you have enough language to survive so you don't bother learning anymore. This can mean you sound quite limited in what you say and you may be using the same expression over and over again, which is repetitive and possibly incorrect. In the worst case scenario, you may spend all your time with people who speak your language from your country. In that case, your English will be flatlining and you might as well be at home in your home country. Language is a tool for communication. To a certain extent, you need to experiment with new language in order to express yourself better and have experiences in a different country. So be brave and try out some new expressions every week. All right, so now you know three major mistakes to avoid when moving to an English speaking country to live or work. Let us know if you've experienced any of the things I've been talking about or if you know of any others. Bye for now.